calls you get when someone sees a strange car drive through their neighborhood. So they call us and we go talk to them. That's what this one was looking like at first, a simple go see on a car. I was 23 and been on the Tallahassee Police Force for six months, but only been working without a training officer for two months. It was just after 7 a.m. In fact, it was the first call of the day. Available unit in zone three. We have a suspicious vehicle parked behind the laundromat at Lake Bradford Road and Lake Avenue. 519 Tallahassee. I'm just down the road on Lake. 519, laundry parking lot. Check on a silver gray Chevrolet. Three males, two black, one white. Car has out of state plates. Caller says they're hanging around. Could be looking to break in. 10 4. 519, are you probationary? Yes, ma'am. 524, Tallahassee. I'll back the kid up. The officer backing me up was Ernest Ponce de Leon. Everyone called him Ponce. I didn't know him that well outside the force. We didn't move in the same circles. He was older and a lot more experienced officer than I. It sounded like a nothing call, but I was still glad to have a guy like him behind me. I was fresh out of training and didn't have a lot of experience yet. As I pulled in, I saw the front of the Chevy and stopped before they could see me. This is one of the tactics they teach us. They just appear when they don't expect you kind of show up without warning. They drill a lot of this stuff into you when you're in training. You don't think it's going to be very valuable, but it is. 519-1097. How y'all doing this morning? I'm drinking coffee and thinking about hitting the road. I need to see your license and registration. Sure, no problem. Damn, I hope I didn't leave it in my other pants. Yeah, me too. Man, if I leave my stuff in my other pants? I don't know. Could be. 524 Tallahassee, I need a tag. Want some warrants on Mississippi 3BLU 079, silver gray, late model, Chevrolet. 3BLU 079. It's in a suitcase. All our stuff is in a suitcase. Where's your suitcase? It's in the trunk. Can I see it, please? You guys all stay in Tallahassee last night? Yeah, I'm with Cal up the road. Yeah, well, we just uh, stopped to get some coffee and we want to hit the road again. Well, we'll get you on your way just as soon as we can. No, I can't find it. Somebody else put it in there for you? You know where suitcase got her ID in it? I think it's in my vanity case. I didn't get any bad feelings about them. Pont seemed pretty relaxed about the whole thing, too. Still, my training told me to make sure they didn't pull a gun out of one of the suitcases. 524 Tallahassee, how are we coming with that tag? Still waiting, Pont. Somewhere. Then something made me look up. When I was going for the corner, I could feel the heat and the muzzle blast on the back of my neck. I was an inexperienced law officer, but my adrenaline was pumping. My first instinct was fight or flight because I immediately sought cover at the corner of the building. When I got there, I thought, well, they shot at Ponce, they shot at me, they accidentally shot their girlfriend. And these guys are not getting away. I can't let them get away. 524, vehicle is stolen. Occupants believed to be escaped convicts. Armed and extremely dangerous. Approach with caution. I didn't hear anything. It's a lot like tunnel vision, only with your hearing. Well, I had big time tunnel vision. The guns sounded like cap guns. There was no time reference at all. The time had stopped. I saw the guy who I thought shot Ponce behind the car, so I aimed at what I could see. 
I knew I had to change cover, because once they came around the corner, I would have nothing to hide behind. I also knew I'd better reload. I'd shot five times, and I had one live round left. I couldn't tell who was firing, but I saw the muzzle flash. I hit one of them in the leg. It might sound like a good shot, but it didn't stop him. 1024. I repeat, 1024. One officer down, one officer under fire. What is your location, 519? Lake Avenue and Lake Rapid Road. I need backup and an ambulance. Looking at Ponce, he looked bad. The two black males could still be around, but I had to see what condition he was in. Ponce wasn't wearing a vest. He had two bullet holes just left the center in his chest. He wasn't breathing, and I was shaking too much to tell if he had a pulse or not. But I knew he was dead. wasn't dead, and when the other patrol officers got to him, he was still trying to reach for the gun he'd gone for when I'd shot him. The two that got away holed up in a house nearby, but the one I hit in the leg was fixing to bleed out, so they surrendered. This was my first shootout, and hopefully it'll be my last. It didn't change my perception of the job any. I knew it could happen, but you're never ready for it, you never expect it, and you sure never want it. It just happened. We'll be right back with more Top Cups. Top Cop Safety Tip. Never move an accident victim unless they are in immediate life-threatening danger. Moving them may complicate their injuries and worsen their condition. Instead, contact emergency medical help immediately and wait for them to arrive. Mighty Mike. Powerless, easy to swallow pill. William Breckner was returned to Oklahoma to serve out his 25 year sentence on three robbery convictions. He was paroled in 1986 for statutory good time. Kathy Berg now works with the NYPD Nitro Unit in the Narcotics Division, serving on restricted duty after being seriously wounded in a 1986 shootout in which her partner was killed. She is president of the International Association of Women Police Officers. Clarence Jones was convicted of first-degree murder and attempted murder. He was sentenced to die in Florida's electric chair. Urban Griffin received life in prison, and Henry Goines, who pled guilty to second-degree murder, was sentenced to 30 years in prison. Beverly Harris turned state's evidence to help convict them. Officer Greg Armstrong is still with the Tallahassee Police Department, serving as a member of the canine unit. He and Patrolman Ponce de Leon were both awarded the Medal of Valor. Anything, parent? 